is August 14th. Um, it's 7 something, I think, in the morning. I haven't stopped yet, so I haven't taken off my headlamp. Sorry, that there's a mosquito. Um, yeah, today's a big day. I have to try to do 25 to catch up to 50 cent because, um, we were going to try to sync up, uh, his brother, I believe, or a friend or something is coming to pick him up and take him into, um, God, why can't I think? Um, take him into sisters. And so he, if our miles synced up, our timing synced up, um, he offered to give me a ride in. So, and we're planning on getting there on Sunday. Today is Friday. Um, but he's already like five miles ahead of me because he did it like he was trying to do a 20 mile day out from, um, the resort, um, Shelter Cove, but I wanted hot food and it was raining and so I was waiting stuff out and then, um, I only did a 15 mile day ish. So yeah, if I do a 25 today, I should catch up to him. Um, if not, I'll be, try to bail out to, at 22 or 23 miles and then just do like a 20 plus day tomorrow. I don't know. It'll work out. But, and if it doesn't, I'll call a shuttle. So, but a little tired this morning. Slept good. Slept by myself. Um, but I did stay up a little bit later because I got into camp later than I anticipated. And today's going to be the same same thing. I'm probably not going to get into camp until almost 8 if I make my 25. But anyways, I don't want to talk too long. I have a lot of hiking to do, so let's get to it. Currently walking in a burn scar, and it's smoky because of the forest fires and whatnot. But uh, like all the trees are laid down on that hill, and this one's like all the trees got really destroyed in general. I'm also was a little bit nervous walking in the bigger patches of the tall trees are still um, standing. Because you keep on hearing stuff falling. Like, I don't know if it's, like, pine cones falling from the trees or branches. I mean, they're not, like, really big, like, thuds. But th there's stuff falling from the trees. Um, usually, when we go through burn scars, in general, like, it's an established burn scar. Meaning that it's been there for a little while. I'm not sure how new this one is. I think this might have happened last year. Um, so, like, the older burn scars, they've kind of, like, settled in a way. They just don't have random stuff usually falling from them. Like, in order to make stuff fall, this is my theory. Um, like, there'd have to be a windstorm or... The tree would have to be like just old and you know regularly rotting out and to fall over but in new burn scars they haven't had that settling period so stuff still will fall from trees and whatnot is what I've been experiencing while I'm out here but yeah it's kind of interesting to walk through one of these and smelling basically campfire smoke and seeing it hazing out the sun in the mountain next to me. Um, like I said before in multiple videos, we don't really have these in Wisconsin. Um, so when I'm going through these areas, this is a whole new experience for me. So these are just some of the, my thoughts. This isn't normal for me. 
it's more normal for me now because on trail we've gone through some, so many of them. But this isn't my normal life. <laughs> Hiking through burn scars or having anything to do with forest fires more or less. So, but yeah, um, it's kind of sad to see though. Um, a lot of the brush hasn't bounced back. There's some grasses and stuff. But, of course, that takes time. Um, and since there's not really brush or anything, there's not really animals. There's a few birds in here. Like, there's one on this tree over here. Never mind, it flew away. <laughs> um, but anyways, there's some birds. And occasionally, I just scared a chipmunk not too long ago, but I don't know what the hell a chipmunk is eating in here. Um, so yeah, just hiking. Trying to get through the day. Um, right now my goal is to get 11 miles in to the next lake, which is the next water source. Take a sit down break there for like, I don't know, a half hour. And then get my butt hiking again. And I'll have around 13 or 14 miles left. Um, but at least halfway will put me towards, halfway to a bailout point if I end up having to do 22 or 23 instead of 25 but um oh yeah that's another thing I want to mention for some people it's really easy to do like 30 miles 25 miles you know like to really uptick their miles in Oregon because it is in general as far as like elevation changes flatter than the other two states but I'm a solid 2.0 pretty much, unless I'm like road walking on pavement and like even though I'm pushing out of 25 today, this flatter terrain, like I still go two miles per hour. It's not because I'm filming more, I'm actually filming less in general. It's just, that's just my natural walking pace and every, and I mean every single time I try to walk faster or hike faster than my natural walking pace for an extended period of time I get injured and then I have to you know like muscles will tighten or I don't know an ankle will hurt or the blisters will get really bad something happens um and then I have to spend more you know I have to do an extra zero in town or something so I'm trying not to take <laughs> a bunch of time off because my time is very limited right now if, if, I want to try to hike all the miles between here and the Canadian border. But, if I start to really run out of time because I'm going to have to take an extra zero that I didn't plan for in Sisters to see if I can try to get my tent fixed. Um, and if that happens again in Cascade, you know what I mean? Like, if that keeps on happening where I have to take extra zeros because of logistical things. Um... At some point, I'm just going to have to skip part of Washington. Um, and not just because of fires, but just because of time. Because I want to have some downtime before I start work. I Even though I could hike all the way till October 13th, I want to visit my grandma. Or try to visit my grandma. Um... And I want to have at least a week of where I'm not doing a goddamn thing. <laughs> I want to have a week before work, at least one week, where I can just sit on my butt <laughs> and relax and just, like, zone out for a week. <laughs> so, um, and I'm finishing no later than September 30th for the whole trail. I just don't know how much of Washington I'm going to be able to hike. Um, but I am very determined to get Oregon done. So that is my plan. But I'm going to get off of here and I'm going to get hiking.
today this is my lunch spot isn't it pretty it's hold on let me pause and i'll let you know what lake it is so we're at brahma lake and i'm about to i have to leave soon because i still have 14 miles to hike about so and it's around noon so that's about seven hours of hiking but just like all the other lakes it's pretty clear Today's not a still though, um, it's a little windy. I had really good internet when I was in the burn scar in one particular spot. And so I sent an email to the, the woman that fixes, or the company or whatever that fixes um, gear, tent zippers and stuff. And hopefully she can get back to me. Hopefully I'll have an email in their response. Um, tomorrow if not well I'll, I'll figure it out but the main reason why I brought this up was I was also texting my parents and they say that there's a really big storm coming to, hitting the west coast and I don't currently have internet but I have a little bit of cell service and so um I mean not right at the spot but when I was on trail I did right before I got down here um, anyways, so they said there's like a really big storm coming, like a hurricane, basically, coming to hit the west coast. So I'm trying to figure out, because I want to know when it's supposedly supposed to be hitting and where. Is it going to hit mostly California or is it Oregon, Washington? Um, is it going to be in a couple days or is it still like halfway out to sea and it's going to be here in a week? Um... I mean, tomorrow I'm going to look it up on the internet too, but my brain can't get unstuck from, from this, um, wondering when it's coming because I might have to coordinate being off trail in a town somewhere or a resort, um, before it hits. So I'm trying to figure out like logistically when that might happen and how bad is it going to be for me on trail, um, because if the winds are high enough, you know, I have to worry about trees breaking, limbs falling. Um, if there's lightning, I'd have to worry about um, the storm starting forest fires and stuff. So it's good to have an idea of when it might be coming in. Today it's a little windy, um, but the local forecast, I did look at that this morning. And it's not supposed to storm or anything. It's supposed to be like basically partly sunny all day long. And... I don't know, in the 70s, so not too bad. Um, but yeah, just like in general, the weather on trail for me has been really good as far as like no rain and stuff, except for yesterday or the day before. No, it was yesterday. Yesterday morning it was raining. So, um, but we haven't really had any like storms, like really, really good storms on trail yet. I did have one on the AT um, that we got stuck in and it had flooded. The creeks had flooded. Not super hardcore but enough where there's one water crossing right before camp that was kind of really tricky and I waited until North Star came up behind me before I even tried to cross it. Um, I know this year on the AT, oh my god, it's been flooding like crazy. They've been having so much rain. I've seen apple pie was guiding a group up in Maine and I've seen the videos of the streams there um earlier this season that was just <laughs> that was insane <laughs> but yeah so that's something that I now have to keep my eye on um never expected like thunderstorms yeah but like a hurricane <laughs> or a tropical storm I wasn't expecting that on trail as something to try to like plan around if it happened so Anyways, I'm gonna get hiking and I hope you're all doing well. Bye! Found a new fungus. Look at this. It's kind of like a coral fungus. There's one there. There's one there. And there's actually one way back there. Sorry, the mosquitoes are getting in my eyes. Alright, 
we have about 2.5 left to go to left to go to get to camp for today. Um, the mosquitoes haven't been horrible. They keep today. They keep getting at my forehead, and my ears again. So I kind of have my bug net covering my ears and whatnot. Um, so that's annoying. And then, depending on where you stop, you can they can start coming after you, um, or they're not that bad. So um, one of the reasons why. Oregon is considered mosquito hell at one point because we pass a lot of ponds and lakes um, and especially now quite a few of the lower ponds are drying up um, but one thing I also noticed is more so at the lakes there's more dragonflies at the lakes and so usually if you're having lunch at one of the bigger lakes they don't bother you at all because the dragonflies are eating them. And then another thing I noticed about that is if I have a choice between two spots to camp um, or to take lunch or something and people make multiple comments about dragonflies being around, like the army of dragonflies are out and stuff like that in the comments, then I'm more likely to pick that spot to camp or eat at because then I know that... Our little besties, the dragonflies, are getting rid of these annoying little mosquito buggers. Um, ouch. Anyways, I'm in a spot right now where they're like, they're, they're kind of biting quite a bit. And I dropped my thing because so I was trying to get at one on my back. But anyways, I'm going to let you go. I'm going to get hiking. And uh, I probably won't check in until tomorrow. Unless I find a different cool fungus or something. Got some cranes in this field. 